For this crochet project, you're going to need your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a tapestry needle or a darning needle. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. For the dog collar, you can choose any blue or whatever color that you want for your dog collar. I just use some of my leftover yarn that I have. It's the Karen One Pound. So this one is a huge yarn that I can use for many different crafts. And the color of this one is Royalty. So it's a really pretty blue that I used for my dog collar. For the dog bone, I used Red Heart with Love Premium. And you're going to have plenty left over of this yarn as well. I just love the color of this one. And the color is Corn Silk. But gold will work as well. But for this one, I chose Corn Silk. So go ahead and take your yarn. And you're going to fold it over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb, and then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down and cinch the loop around your crochet hook. Now you're going to make a chain of 53. I'm just going to show you four of them on video tutorial. So there's one, two, three, and four. So I finished my chain of 53. So this is where you want to make sure that your chain will fit around the neck of your dog if you're using a different style of yarn. And my chain measures approximately 12 inches. Then after you make your chain of 53, we're going to make a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So just count back one, two, three, four. And in that fourth chain from the hook, you're going to make a double crochet. So go ahead and yarn over, go into that fourth chain from the hook, bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through two. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through two to complete a double crochet. And you're going to make one double crochet into every stitch back across. So you just yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, and make a double crochet. And then you're just going to make one double crochet in every stitch back across, and then come back. Then, when you finish making your double crochets all the way across, you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over, and then just pull enough yarn through to sew the two ends of the collar together. And also, I leave enough to sew the dog bone onto the collar. Then, you want to take and wrap the dog collar around the dog's neck, being careful not to twist it, and try to sew it off to the side because you can move it after you're finished sewing the name tag on it you can move it around to the front so be careful that you don't sew it to the dog and you want the right side showing then you take the long end that you left for sewing put it onto your tapestry needle and then you're just going to take and sew the two ends of the dog collar together so you just kind of weave it in and out, grabbing a stitch on both ends. And then just sew the two ends together. And then you can take and tie a knot. And then you're going to want to take the one yarn end and bring it back down towards the bottom and then just leave it there for now because you're going to use this to sew the name tag in place. So now I'm going to show you how to make the dog bone name tag. So now you're going to take your gold colored yarn and mine is actually a corn silk color and just take and fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop 
Then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down, and then you're going to make a chain of nine. Let's just yarn over and go through the loop for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch back across except for the last stitch. In the last stitch you're going to make three single crochet into the same stitch. Then you're going to take and turn your work so that you're working in rounds on the opposite side. And I'm going to bury my loose yarn end as I crochet. And I'm going to make one single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into each stitch across except for the last stitch. In the last stitch you're going to make three single crochet into the same stitch. So now I have approximately 19 stitches in the round. and you want to just get your yard marker, place it right where you left off and we're going to make our first shell in the corner which is our next stitch where we first started so in that corner stitch you're going to make a shell so you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch and then in the same stitch you're going to make a half double crochet so you're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a half double crochet. Then you're going to make a double crochet into the same stitch, so you yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, make a double crochet, so you yarn over, go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Then you're going to make one treble crochet. So for a treble crochet, you're going to yarn over twice, one, two, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, and now you have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two. Two loops remaining, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through those two remaining loops. Then you're going to make a double crochet into the same stitch, so yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, make your double crochet, then make a half double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, make your half double crochet, then you're going to make one single crochet into the same stitch to complete the shell. So then you have one shell on one corner. Then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. So push your stitch shell over so you can see the next stitch. Go into that stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a single crochet two stitches together. Then you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together and then you're going to make a shell into that corner stitch. So you're going to make a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, and this is all in the same stitch, and then a treble crochet, then a double crochet, a half double crochet, and then a single crochet.
Then you're going to make one single crochet into the stitch on the end. And then you're going to make another shell into the other corner of the bone. So go ahead, make a shell into the next stitch just like you did for the previous two. Then, this is what my work looks like so far. Then you're going to make a single crochet two stitches together. Then you're going to make a single crochet into two stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to make a shell into the next stitch. So go ahead, finish this shell in your next stitch. Then you can make a single crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch, then go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through. Actually, you're going to pull enough yarn through to sew the ends of the bone together. I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is what my work looks like so far. So now it does look like a bone, but I want to bring the edges in a little bit on each side. So that's why I left a little bit of a loose yarn in for sewing. So I'm going to come up from the wrong side about the last stitch where we made the loops and the shells. So in that little larger hole there. Then just bring the yarn up and then you want to kind of give it a gentle tug and then go back in the edge there and again give it a gentle tug and then just go through the next stitch over and then give it a gentle tug and you can see how it brings the edge in you want that to come in and then just take and go right down the end there. If you need to come into the inside, that's fine too. And then just give it a gentle tug. And you can see how it brings it in. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. But first, just take and tie a knot on the back. And I usually like to go through twice. And then you can just take, if you still have enough yarn, you can take this yarn and go across the back, weave it across the back to the other side to do the same thing. If you don't have enough yarn, then just get some more yarn onto your tapestry needle. So you can see how I finished the one side and now you just want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to weave it and then bring it, loop it around the edge and bring it back up and then give it a gentle tug and then I'm going to go towards the back to tie a knot. And then you have your dog bone. So I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot on the back. I'm going to weave it towards the center. And then just tie a knot. And then bury my loose yarn end. And that's how you make your little dog bone name tag. 
I'm going to finish tying the knot with you and then I'm just going to bury the loose yarn in on the wrong side just weave it through the wrong side then you can just take and trim the loose yarn end and then you have your dog bone so this is the right side and now it's ready to sew onto the dog collar so now you can take that long end that you left for sewing make sure that your dog bone the right side is facing outwards and then just take and sew the dog bone to your collar I'm just going to go a stitch over and then back into the dog collar then you can take and weave the loose yarn end up to where you have the other loose yarn end and then just tie a knot and then you're just going to bury the loose yarn ends the blue loose yarn ends on the wrong side of the collar so you just take the loose yarn end make sure I get the whole yarn end in then just take it on the wrong side of the collar and then just weave it through the wrong side so I'm just going to bring it through a couple times just go back and forth and then once you've weaved it through the wrong side you can take and trim it and then bury the other loose yarn end. So now after you bury all of your loose yarn ends you can take and turn the collar so that the dog bone is in the front of the dog and it looks adorable.